the uh, I, I'd like to take uh, uh, a minute to share uh, um, a, uh, a verse from the first book of the Bible, Genesis, uh, that uh, I think is very uh, appropriate uh, during this uh, Mother's Day uh, celebration. Um, in, in the third chapter of Genesis, starting at, in, in verse 16, we read, unto the woman, he said, that is God said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow shalt thou bring forth children. Now, th this is a verse that um, I believe uh, speaks to every mother um, who has uh, actually brought forth uh, a child uh, throughout all time. Uh, <clears throat> this verse was uh, um, spoken by God to the first uh, mother, Eve, uh, the wife of Adam, um, mm. after, uh, after Adam and Eve had uh, broken God's law uh, and disobeyed God. Um, uh, each of them in turn is, is told that there would be consequences. There will be uh, a, a judgment, uh, a kind of punishment for their disobedience and their rebellion. Uh, and for Eve, that verse, verse 16, that is the those are the consequences of, of, of disobedience that have now been passed down to all of Eve's daughters. Uh, the scripture says that Eve was the mother of all the living. So every woman is a daughter of Eve. Uh, and every mother uh, has to face the consequences of this verse. Uh, and that, of course, includes my, my own mother, um, who I love very dearly. Uh, uh, I was born in a hospital, Mount Sinai Hospital in uh, New York City. And uh, um, <clears throat> uh, I, I know from having, uh, ha having talked with my mother that uh, uh, my, uh, my, my delivery was a very difficult experience for her. She, uh, she had, uh, prior to my uh, birth, she had already experienced one miscarriage and um, uh, so I was the, uh, the second attempt to uh, bring forth a child. And uh, as it happens, I was born at about 11 p.m. in the evening after uh, uh, hours of labor. Um, 
so it was a it was a difficult experience, a a, a, a traumatic experience for for my mother. She was very young at the time, still a teenager, uh, and just uh, having to uh, go through this this. Uh, uh, um, this di difficult childbirth. Um, ne ne nevertheless, uh, the there is a, a certain bright side to uh, to this. The, the scripture tells us that. Um, uh, Mothers do have what what is known as travail. I guess that's another word for sorrow or trauma in childbirth. But after the travail, after the the uh, trauma is over, uh, the scripture says that she experiences joy that a child has come into the world. Uh, And um, I, I'm, I'm sure that uh, there, there are uh, there, there are many mothers who can uh, attest to this. Uh, my uh, my own mother um, eventually. Uh, gave birth to uh, six live ch children. Um, sadly, um, one of her children died uh, um, while still in child chi while while still in childhood. But she had the joy of raising five. Uh, living children to adulthood and uh, shepherding them through life and through all of the, uh, the, the difficulties of growing up and uh, becoming adults and um, uh, uh, and she was able to uh, uh, raise them and see them all uh, uh, graduate from high school and enter college. Um, and I know that that would be the uh, one of the uh, 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 I would say the the greatest accomplishment of, of her life. Uh, my mother has uh, always cherished her family. And now we're, we're all um, uh, still alive, five of us. Uh, and uh, her, her own children have now given her uh, 13 grandchildren so she has uh, 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 a legacy of this uh, extended family that she cherishes very much to this to this day. Um, and in that in that same chapter of Genesis, where uh, God has has. Um, said to the, the, our, our first parents that, that there would be consequences to their, uh, their rebellion and their disobedience. He also gives a wonderful promise uh, that involves um, uh, the birth of another child. In uh, Genesis 3, verse 15, 
God is saying, I will put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed. Uh, this verse is being, is being said to the tempter, the one who caused uh, 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 Eve and Adam to, to uh, disobey God in the first place. Uh, <clears throat> God is promising that uh, there would be a a seed, a seed of the woman, and this seed, God says, it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Uh, and of course, this verse is speaking of God's promised Messiah, who would come to take away the curse and to bring uh, redemption from the curse and from all of the consequences of uh, Adam and Eve's rebellion. Um, <clears throat> and I, I know that uh, that uh, I, th this is a promise that uh, should give uh, hope to, to every mother uh, that, that she and her family can, can receive uh, redemption and eternal life through uh, God's seed, God's uh, promised uh, Messiah, uh, uh, the Lord Yeshua. Uh, thank you. <clears throat>